My name is Ekambram. I am from the Product Marketing Division within Mindray. Our special thanks to all of you for agreeing to be part of this session and, uh, and to understand better about the preventive radiology initiative from IRA and that is expected to address and bring about changes across India uh, for better health as well as within the radiology community in the way liver imaging that we perform. Our heartfelt congratulations to all of you for the grand launch for this National Preventive Radiology today. It's incredible feeling for the entire Mindray team. Our special thanks to the executive decision body for having the trust and uh, providing us this partnership. We have with us today an uh, eminent panelist, Dr. Pushparaj Batale, President IRA. We are really honored, sir. Dr. Rijo Matthew, National Coordinator, Preventive Radiology, who also headed Summer Action Project, a very important initiative by IRA that has achieved many milestones in the perinatal radiology. Dr. Rajesh Chawal, Director of Tane Ultrasound, Consultant Radiologist at Jeslok Hospital in Mumbai, expert in shearable elastography and contrast studies, and National Academic Lead for the Preventive Radiology. And we have with us Mr. Ashwini Raina, Director for Mindray India of Ultrasound Business, who has been part of Mindray for the last 10 years, plus and supporting and, and establishing brand Mindray as a trusted partner. Thank you all for joining us. And the first question to you, sir, Dr. Pushwaraj Batale, what is your vision of, uh, you've been a very dynamic uh, uh, a person in the whole uh, IRA operation, the way it is happening. What is your vision for IRA in India? And also, can you give us a little information or a brief information about this preventive area? Thank you, Mr. Kamram. As a leader of IRIA, as a patron of radiologist in India, I have a definite perception that probably the radiologist, they are the best among the medical fraternity, other subspecialty field and radiology is the best profession among all professions. To see this as an infrastructure arrangement, I will see to it that each and every step, the right step is taken so that the suffering humanity is attended to by my members, members of my association and we save a lot of lives. This program was in pipeline since the last two years. Preventive radiology is a new concept which was conceived by Dr. Rijo, approved by our credential committee which was headed that time by Professor Amarnath, my predecessor and other people and we thought that if we trade ahead with this program, we probably will be able to save, complete our responsibility towards this suffering nation. This is a very good concept and with the help of everybody, my members, my colleagues, the engineers, the electronic company manufacturers, the original electronic uh, equipment manufacturer, ultrasound manufacturers, software developers, we aim to and I am convinced we will definitely save a lot of lives. Thank you for inviting me here. Thank you. To Dr. Rijo Matthew. The preventive radiology is a very innovative uh, and landmark initiative by IRA. Can you please elaborate on this? See, the radiologists have been uh, indulged in the diagnostic radiology and interventional radiology for quite some time. And preventive radiology is a new area that radiologists want to explore, the largest area <laughs> of preventive medicine. And the whole idea with preventive radiology, with the help of imaging biomarkers, we would like to stratify those group, high-risk groups among the community that can develop especially the non-communicable diseases like fatty liver disease, coronary artery disease, cancers, etc. With the help of imaging biomarkers, we can quantify, we can stratify that high-risk group. And that is where the preventive radiology and the radiologists will explore with the help of their imaging biomarkers. We get entirely new space apart from diagnostic and interventional radiology, which I think uh, the Indian Radiological and Imaging Association has taken the right step and in the larger realm of uh, preventive medicine, preventive radiology is going to play a significant role to especially the non-communicable diseases which are high in which are increasing in great numbers in India. So there is a large role for radiologists to play here because 
Like diagnostic and intervention, this is a symptomatic patient we were uh, addressing. Now, we have got an asymptomatic patient who has got a high risk for developing some of these non-communicable diseases with the help of our modalities, radiological modalities, with the help of our imaging biomarkers, we are in a position to detect, uh, stratify them and help them to modify their risk, modif uh, reduce the chances of progression into incidents that can lead to death and all. Okay. So that is where radiologists will be playing a significant role and that is exactly the space where the radiology wants to explore. Excellent sir. Uh, the next question also to you. I have been hearing you talking about preventive radiologists. You know, that's another term I've been hearing and the skill enhancement program that are being planned as well. Can you please uh, elaborate on the actual plan? See why uh, the preventive radiology, somebody who is practicing, a radiologist is practicing preventive radiology, of course, he's a preventive radiologist. Unlike a diagnostic radiologist and an interventional radiologist, he is not the access to those patients who are asymptomatic. So he has to seek out those patients. So it is high time for radiologists to be, to act as primary physicians, to talk to the patients, to have a radiology opinion, yeah. to interact with the patients and using the radiology imaging modalities, we are we can help the patient to understand the disease process they are going through much before they, they are becoming symptomatic. So that is why the radiologists themselves has to explore this space, all themselves as preventive radiologists and has to conduct OPD. There is need, needs to be a paradigm shift from the thinking process, what the radiologists are taught uh, even, the, in the, even, the, even in the PG curriculum nowadays, but preventive radiology opens up new possibilities for radiologists to explore, uh, to have the radiology OPD, start uh, talking to them, directly interacting with the patients and stratify their risk and uh, help and even refer to the concerned clinicians of different subspecialties for the ne next level of treatment. Excellent, sir. excellent. So going forward, we would like to understand how Preventive Radiology Division plan to reach out to a large community of radiologists across India. Could you please give an understanding the, in the multi-center study that is being rolled out? Yeah. See, so, uh, every uh, program like this should have a skill enhancement cupboard. There are more than 20,000 radiologists in this country <coughs> in the Indian Radiological and Imaging Association. So one of the primary aims is to skill enhance our radiologists to, uh, for the, uh, with the help of these radi radi radiological modalities, especially in case of fatty liver, train them to do the liver elastography, which helps them to quantify liver fibrosis and helps, because as I already mentioned, India is having a large number of fatty liver disease progressing into, especially the non-alcoholic liver disease, progressing into cirrhosis. So, if this is a window of opportunity open for radiologists for this 20 years, radiologists can help diagnose those high-risk groups which can go in for fibrosis, help them to decrease the severity of their disease and bring them back into normal state. There is a reversible process at this point of time. That's why I always said, 20 years down the line, radiologists, if you are not using this opportunity, the only way for the country, the medical system or the healthcare system of this country is to still enhance the surgeons to do as many liver transplants as possible. Because now the window of opportunity is with radiology. So, skill enhancement is an integral part of this program. Mm -hmm. Secondly, uh, we want to do a multicentric research study with the help of industry. That is why Mindray has partnered with uh, uh, IRIA for this particular project. We want the data from our patient population, 1.4 billion people from India should know because the standardizations has to come from this population rather than from the Caucasian yes. population or from the Chinese population. The Indian population data has to be collected and we are looking into multicentric studies. We already initiated and that is where Mindray has supported IRIA in that initiative. We already 20 participating centers across the country have joined this multicentric study and the skill enhancement program today we have initiated the launch in 2022 under the leadership of uh, our national president Dr. Pushparaj Bhattelia, the national academic lead for uh, project, uh, fatty liver project of Ajay Chaubal is here. So we are skill enhancing, we have already initiated the multi center study, we have distributed the uh, uh, research methodology, the research protocols also encourage the participants of this training. Uh, program to submit their forms. So today in this event there are nearly 50 per uh, registrants. So if 50 registrants, if they submit 25 forms each, that's going to be 1,250. Absolutely. Similarly, we have uh, planned 12 programs along with Mindray in different parts of the country in the next two years. So skill enhancement, multi study 
uh, and finally a policy document that with the help of uh, the our national leadership to the governments about the importance of the strategy that we are because governments and the non government organizations has been looking for a mass screening programs or a, or else they were not no no screening programs at all what we are telling them is screen the high, high risk group with the help of technology and then uh, intervene for modifications or the treatment of the diseases so this is how we would like to take this forward. okay excellent sir excellent so mr ashwini reina uh, as elaborated by dr rajo matthew the preventive radiology is a national program covering the entire country for the next 2 years what are the main reason mindray is aligned with this program and how important is this initiative for mindray yeah come from you know before i answer uh, this particular question let me uh, take uh, this opportunity one more time uh, to thank uh, iara under the leadership of uh, uh, and Dr. Pushraj and uh, the way Dr. Uh, Riju, uh, whom I know for last so many years. I think, uh, you know, this is really something uh, probably we also have been waiting for to work with the uh, IRIA here in India to develop certain protocols which will uh, not only help uh, probably, you know, uh, a group of uh, patients, but on a large scale, we can really uh, probably attack a particular uh, disease. where we could uh, establish really certain values as they repeated it uh, multiple times you know uh, from the indian perspective and i think you know uh, the way uh, mindray has been progressing over a period of time in last uh, particularly 5 to 6 years it's very important for us uh, to have association with the, uh, the strong bodies around the world including iria in india uh, to to work together for better mankind and i think it's quite exciting uh, what somebody was uh, saying that it's a collaboration of uh, physicians and engineers together to make something possible so uh, we at mindre are uh, really uh, looking forward uh, uh, for this in next couple of years and beyond thank you thank you so the next question is to dr rajesh chobal what is the role of ultrasound in early identifying fatty liver disease Yeah, so ultrasound. Uh, see, one thing we need to realize is ultrasound really has, you know, a really good penetration through the length and breadth of this country. You know, it's very easily accessible to a whole lot of patients, and I mean, whole lot of population rather. And we also, you know, end up seeing a lot of patients for preventive health checkups, especially in the metro cities. So we have a huge number of patients who are people who are actually walking in through our OPD who don't you know probably know that they have a fatty liver and we are the first ones to really identify it and you know flag it up to them and as Dr. Rijo said you know that is where our role really uh, you know uh, intensifies because if you if you are the first one to see the patient you you know you're able to detect it you're able to uh, you know counsel the patient that will go a long way ahead you know in uh, managing that patient and prevent worsening of any situation in that way. okay excellent sir how would you consider uh, imaging in the context of uh, biochemical test which is done to study liver so see uh, nothing in medicine can really go you know in its own way everything has to go hand in hand so everything has its own important role uh, of course the uh, you know we'll have the lab markers which will have their own role ultrasound will has its own role uh at there there be times when you will be able to identify changes which are happening on the ultrasound before you know they start coming up in other tests or you know something like that uh so like i said ultrasound because of its penetration has such a you know important role because you can really see a lot of these cases before they are detected by any other modality or before they become so worse that they you know come to a physician in that uh, bad state okay Okay, sir. So ultrasound always gives you a general condition of the liver. If you want to get more in-depth assessment, what type of imaging that one need to perform for a fatty liver using ultrasound? So yes. So all this while, you know, we have been restricted to what we call as a visual scaling or visual analysis on ultrasound. So what uh, I may see as uh, you know as an individual may uh, you know be different, or what I interpret rather as one person may be different from what another, the second or third person interprets. But now we are moving into kind of you know functional imaging as well, where we are able to get uh, actual functional values. We have uh, you know these uh, elastography measurements. We have attenuation values. We have uh, you know uh, ways to assess the ecogenicity of the liver compared to the kidney. all of which was not possible till some time back so now we are getting more and more functional data which is independent of uh, how i see it or how second or third person sees it 
but uh, the you know uh, as uh, dr rejo pointed out the skill enhancement you know across you know the whole team of radiologists is very important because all of us need to be on the same page and you know take it on from there okay great sir given the diverse population uh, with multiple variable factors that we have the challenges uh, in diagnosing F- the nflt especially what could be the standardization of processor so uh, like we said the first important thing is the standardizing the process in the way we take our measurements which is what we are focusing right now we are focusing on the skill enhancement of these radiologists so that all of us are taking measurements in a standardized pattern once we do that and once we have you know uh, uh, data which is available across the country like dr rejo said we have we're initially looking at already these 20 centers which are participating across the country so we are going to get this whole variety of data which will you know be independent of uh, you know the, uh, uh, the data which has come till now which is predominantly from you know the american population and the european population so yes we are really looking forward to collecting this data and implementing it in such a fashion that it becomes very relevant for our local population and this may even vary you know from say the south of india to the north of india to the east to the west because of you know we have all these diverse dietary habits we have you know whole lot of diversity so we are really looking forward to getting this huge set of data which we can you know uh, kind of use it for our subset of our population great sir thank you um dr rajumath this is for you after this extensive multi center study are you planning to publish a research publication uh, relevant to india definitely that is what our aim is okay so uh, we did a similar one for uh, sandection okay so the publications are now available in the uh, india journal of radiology and image the two year results of sandection so similarly we would like to this is an ira project so once this multi centric study is uh, with all this data and analysis we would like to come out with different uh, publications on different aspects of uh, liver elastography different aspects of fatty liver uh, with respect to the the study currently the studies that we have designed it in four studies actually one is the prevalence and magnitude okay. of uh, uh, fatty liver disease and with respect to the 2d shear wave elastography using your mind ray sonar sonography technology that is one and then the th- three studies is a comparative evaluation uh, or validation with the 2d shear wave elastography versus fibro scan or otherwise called as the transient vibration control transient elastography versus mr elastography versus biopsy so there are participating centers who has got uh, these facilities and uh, uh, we have set the sample size and we will be coming out with the publications on uh, this prevalence and magnitude as well as the comparative evaluation with the different modalities used uh, different modalities of elastography used in fatty liver disease so that is what we wish to publish maybe it will take another 2 years for all the data to come excellent sir thank you sir it is to dr pushparaj patale i think you have a i think global vision on not only the radiologists but the industry at large so according to you how will the imaging industry evolve in india in near future how do the stakeholders play a critical role in the overall industry development uh, see gentlemen there are two three things first of all india is a country with 1.4 billion population as you said we have different kind of capacity to pay back and we have different kind of responsibility also towards the society as compared to european or american people given the situation when we are dealing with such a large set of data set and large set of prospective patient we need technology to evolve and evolve that can be afforded by people who are going to use that is us study artist maintenance of the equipment is one thing which i would rather emphasize upon the original equipment manufacturer to kindly consider this reduce the cost of ownership of these equipment purchasing an equipment is not an issue these days it's maintaining the issue uh, those equipment is an issue through you i would implore upon your company and other company to consider this facet of problem also which we face almost every day secondly radiologists they have a vast role in preventing diseases and helping society in this as dr mr ashwini said engineers software developers and doctors they must act in tandem only then something fruitful can be achieved absolutely i as the leader of 
an organization having more than 20,000 radiologists can assure you that wherever, whenever and in whatever way the help of radiologists in their <coughs> physical presence or uh, their intellectual uh, participation is required, it will be provided for. Thank you. Fantastic, sir. Thank you. Finally, sir, this is the last question. What is your comments on Mindray as a trusted partner in building healthier India? Mindray is one of the best companies we have seen in the last few decades here in India that is producing medical equipment. I have definite faith that with the integrity you are working in India, with the method you have adopted to work and uh, do business in India, they are going to benefit you as well as us. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. Very well said and we will reciprocate that as well. That concludes our session. Thank you once again, sir. Uh, it's an honor to be part of this preventive radiology product and the multi-center liver study in support of public at large for a healthier nation. Under the leadership of Dr. Pushparaj Batale, President of IRA, and the most dynamic Dr. Rijo Matthew, Preventive Radiology Coordinator, and Dr. Rajas Chobal, one of the future leadership phase of radiology in India. We are committed as much as you, 100% to take this forward, this project with IRA to its logical part of the expected benefits. Thank you all doctors. Thank you. Thank you.